yeah, that's good to hear a little background. Um, so if you don't mind, I was just going to show you kind of a neat little trick of how yeah, yeah. to uh, get some uh, notation into Finale uh, very easily. And you could crank out these projects uh, in Finale, even though, like I said, you can also turn in audio projects like the one you did. I really liked it. And you could do some more of those to fill out your projects. Um, so let me share the screen with you. And I'm going to kind of... Uh, fumble around and find these websites that we need and show you how to pull them into Finale. Okay. Website or public domain, I think is what it's called. Got to type in the right keywords or you're never going to get there. Yeah, the public domain song anthology. Okay. And that link is in the some of the videos and the materials I, that I posted. Uh, you can see it's Aperio Press or aperio.press. If you notice here, like right here, you can click on this and download the entire uh, book as a PDF. So I'll do that right now. And so we'll take a look at that in a second. But also over here, it says you can download PDF or Sibelius files. That's a competitor to Finale. I'm kind of disappointed they didn't use Finale instead of Sibelius for this but it doesn't really matter and then over here it says download XML files okay that's sort of a universal language it stands for extensible markup language that helps uh, files move between uh, dissimilar programs okay so like between different DAWs etc so I'm gonna click on this download XML files link and see where that takes us Okay, then you see all the songs here. Now, like I said before, you can you can download that whole book. I'm gonna go here's the here it is right here. Uh, I'm gonna open up this because you know you just might want to browse through it. I mean, this is like 393, you know, so almost 400 songs um, mm. that you can just have for free. You know, the notation. And this also shows you these are what's called lead sheets which is what I'm wanting you to do. And it's a good thing to know how to do um, because this is sort of like the distilled version of any song, okay? It's just a melody and the chords. And from that, professional musicians can do a lot. You know, they can play a whole, you know, play a professional sounding set, you know, or a song or do a recording. Um, so, We'll just take, um, I'll try to find one that's, and you know, and one of the things, one of the reasons I want you to browse through them is to find the shorter ones, you know, <laughs> make it easy on yourself. But using the method I'm gonna show you, <laughs> yeah, some of them look kinda long. But using the method I'm gonna show you, it's not gonna really even matter too much if they're short or long. Um, but I'm gonna try to look for one that, uh, uh, here's one called Alma Mater which was my school song, actually, some version of this back when I, I, I grew up in uh, Flower Mound. Uh, this is our Louisville High School and many other schools uh, school song. Okay, so um, anyway, um, and that's, you know, like I said, doesn't matter if you read music or you don't, okay? But what we want you to do is get to where you learn to read music at least a little bit better and understand yeah that's yeah that's what i want yeah and understand the concept of it you know and and also maybe even how to put a sheet like this in front of a musician in order to get them to record something for you so let's say we take this alma mater song for instance i'm going to go back to this website and just scroll down until i find it it's not on that page one. Just click over to page two. Um, and so there it is. All right. So these are all XML files. You see how they say .xml? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to hit the little download fun uh, button right here. And uh, hopefully it's going to just, just download it. Yeah, it's a little tricky to figure out... Um, which thing to click on sometimes on this website, at least for me. Um, I don't know why this wouldn't just do it. Okay, file access, public, 
download options. I'm just trying to click on XML here. I think that did it. Okay, so here it is in my download folder, right? So you see that? Alma mater.xml? Yeah? Okay. So I'm just going to simply now go and open up Finale over here. And I'm just going to, um, I'm going to use, you could use several different things, you know. That's it. Well, right here, duh, it says import yeah, yeah. music XML, right? That's the one I want. I'm usually doing it after the program is already open. Um, so that's what confuses me. So, yeah, just click over here on my downloads folder, hopefully. And there it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Open. And boom, your project is almost done. Okay. <laughs> so, um, now I just want you to do a couple of things to it. Um, first of all, know that there's two sets of core changes on these. Do you see that how there's this first, these chords right here, and then there's these other ones up here in green. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are called alternate chord changes, and they're they're pretty cool. You know, they're like to make the song like hipper. You know, if you if you're a more advanced type player, you know, like so we got. But the simple version is, is all you need for right now, which is the, the regular black chords there. Okay, so, and also, Finale is set up so we could transpose this into another key very easily. But these chords up here, they're made with a different tool. Um, I'm gonna get rid of these, because these are made with the this tool here that has the little mezzo forte, the MF, which I affectionately call the MF tool, but it's really called the expression tool. And then you see all the little boxes appear there, and I could just select all of these, um, I think, by going like this, and just delete all those extra chords, all those green chords, okay, using the MF tool, which is also called the expression tool. Now, I want you to put your name on here to show that you've done something to this and we'll probably get rid of this down here too so you just all you need to do that is click on the text tool okay finale is all about using the right tool just like I'm sure in in uh, uh, I don't know about FL but in mm -hmm. logic right yeah there's a lot of different tools you have to pick the right one right so I'm gonna use a text tool and just right up here double click under the composers and I'm going to just put transcribed slash arranged by Mike Vogel. Okay? And, you know, that's it. Then just kind of position it so it's right there. You know, you could go to the alignment thing and uh, align it to the right, which puts the box over here. But you can also just eyeball it, drag it over there. Then the next thing we're going to do is, yeah, go down here. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to put a new one down here. And I'm just going to call it uh, Option G. That's the Mac shortcut, at least, for the copyright symbol. Copyright 2024 or 2023. Mike Bogle Music. Okay? Because as a transcriber arranger, you know, it's assumed that you would do something to this. You know, even we, we removed some chords, we did a little something to it. So you are you can copyright an arrangement theoretically. You know, it may be a little bit of a stretch to say that we're copywriting this, you know what I mean? But still I want you to know how to do it. I'll have put this one on align center. Um, and that's it, you're done. Now we have to save it and we have to give it a title, alma mater. 
okay and I'm going to try to put this into a, your very own folder here Alex you got a bunch of folders <laughs> you have a bunch of folders I do man I've got like four terabytes in Dropbox oh man <laughs> so um yeah, but it's great. You know, that's one great thing about this digital format for the music is, first of all, you can transpose it, like I said. But, you know, five or ten years from now, somebody may say, you know, man, I want to do that song on my mater, you know, and but I don't have a chart, you know, and you could be like, well, as a matter of fact, I think I've got one on my hard drive, you know. So that happens to me I because uh, I sell arrangements and stuff too. So sometimes three or four years later, I'm making a new version, you know, I'd go back and find it on my hard drive, kind of fix it up a little bit, sell it again. Um, mm -hmm. So that's it. You've saved it. Now you, now all you have to do is just upload it on the website. Uh, and I don't know. Well, yeah, you did that already. So you know how to do that, right? Yeah. 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 You were just saying that um, we could put it in our dot, like, so... Am I really just needing to like edit and just arrange it differently into my own? Well, I'm just saying, you you could just turn this in literally as it is right now. Okay, that mm -hmm. so that will work for your projects. But yeah, there's a, there's many other things you could do to it. Okay, so let's go over to uh, I use Logic Pro, and I don't think I really. All right. Starts with one software instrument. And so now it might have a, let's see, file import. Yeah, here's a import music XML. There it is. And let's check it out. Okay. Doesn't look to be assigned to the right kind of instrument no, so, yeah. so i'm gonna i can just drag it up here to this other track that's a, a fender Rhodes. it should work so there you go say yeah you know you could go and like you know, add some, add a drum loop to it if you wanted to, or, you know, whatever you want. So, so you're making it seem like you just want me to download a MIDI file, put it in the finale, put it back into a DAW, and then make something with that? Well, yes, but e even easier than that, like I said, you can just download the XML file, okay. import it into finale, put your name on it, and do the copyright maybe clean it up by erasing some of those chords with the mf tool and then turn it in okay for like most most of the projects because i've seen like there's almost like 15 i mean yeah, you're making it seem like they're not hard right right there's like 15 projects so yeah for most of the projects i mean you can just do that now if you're the type which i think you are you want to do more you're creative you know um, you could even do two separate projects. Like you could turn in what we just saw. You could turn in this, right? And then also, you could call it a different project. Let's get a, a drum loop, you know, and um, you know, and put some, make a little uh, thing out of it, you know, um, you know, just like. Uh, now we got some like patriotic drums would be good. <laughs> patriotic, is that one of the ones on there? Yeah. Yeah. Something. Sure, man. Right. See, there you go. You got ideas. And uh, and you could change this to be like a trumpet, you know, or a synthesizer or or whatever. And then, you know, but like I said, since you got so many to do, you may not want to get too crazy with each one. Yeah. yeah but just do some simple stuff. But I would like you to do at least some of them, you know, where you turn in some notation because that way, you know, you're just starting to get accustomed to seeing it, to working with it. 
And, and also, it'd be great to also import that into uh, your DAW because then yeah like you were saying just turn it into my own sheet music like my own music into my own sheet music so yeah someone else could play. play yeah yeah well this well this is sheet music that someone else could play right here but you're turning you can also turn it into your own arrangement you know but also i think it's valuable to you know, like listen to this while you're watching the music to kind of so you learn to read music like like check it out please da, da. Yeah, that'll be that'll be helpful. There you go. So yeah, stuff like that. Make sense? Yeah, for the most part now, I mean, cool. yeah, wow. I'm glad we called. Yeah, I think a lot of my students, we did this in the spring, and um, and they were, like, I think on the same page as you. They were just kind of, like, struggling, you know, to do the project the way it was laid out. But when I showed them this, they were just like, oh, well, I can do that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> right? <laughs> so... And, and, you know, giving the same reaction. There you go. Okay. So, and it may seem like anybody could do it, but honestly, you know, you do have some musical knowledge and ability and software knowledge that will allow you to do this. Well, thanks a lot. And yeah. uh, I'll let you go. And yeah, good luck with your music. And just, just let me know. Keep me posted. Thank you. Thanks for showing me. Uh, hey, you have a good one.